Welcome back to DXB Today and it is World Food Day so we're talking all things food but also all things sustainability. Now imagine if insects could transform your organic waste into high quality animal feed. That is exactly what the groundbreaking startup Circa Biotech is doing. Absolutely thrilled to have the founder with us in the studio right now. Please welcome to DXB Today Dr Haytham Riahi. How are you? Hi. Thank you for having me, I'm oh, doing well. We are so glad to have you. Um, I guess we should start first and foremost, talk about the importance of what it is you're doing because of the food waste that is happening globally, right? So what we are dealing with is not a UAE problem. It's a global problem. Food waste is, actually one third of the food produced globally is wasted. Wow. And the major part of it ends up in landfill. So by decomposing in landfills, it generates methane emissions, which is 28 times more potent than CO2. To give you an idea about the extent of it, here in the UAE, the emissions of food waste are equivalent to the transportation emissions. Wow. So cars, trucks, and planes are emitting as much as food waste. Wow. <laughs> Globally, if food waste was Amazing. a country, it will be the third emission producer after China and the US. Wow. wow. Now, Dr. Haytham, what's fascinating to me is that you're using insects to solve this problem. How do you do that? <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm a scientist okay. and I'm a biologist. So when biologists face a problem, the first reflex is to turn back to nature. It's as simple as that. How nature is managing its food. If you go to a forest, mm. not touched by man, forest is a living ecosystem, right? There's animals, there's trees, leaves, but there's no waste. It doesn't smell bad in a forest, mm. right? No, I've so, never thought about that. Sorry. Depends on the forest. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not touched by man, it doesn't smell bad because nature regenerates, recycles its own waste within circularity. So. Think about a dead animal in a forest. What happened? First thing, it will be eaten by insects. And those insects will be eaten by themselves from uh, reptiles, um, mm. birds, mm. or even fish. So this is what we call circularity. The problem with our um, producing system is, ser is linear. It's not circular. So can we harness the power of nature in recycling and the power of insects? Yes, we can. If we give them the right environment so they can reproduce and grow, we can harness this power. And they are efficiently doing it. Amazing. So now you are talking about uh, as a doctor. If I ask you as a businessman, how are you able to turn this um, work you are doing with the ecosystem into a business? This is a very good question. You know. In my opinion, sustainability is only reliable if it is economically viable. Mm. So if I think about, for example, the food waste, the waste management in general today in 2024 with all the technology that we are having, there's three methods of doing it. There's incineration, landfilling, and waste to energy. So converting it into energy. The problem with waste to energy, even though it is more sustainable than the other methods, it's not economically viable. So mm. it's only there because it's subsidized by the state or subsidized by the municipality and it's not scalable. So what I'm bringing to this is a system that could generate revenue, sustainable revenue from the food waste and diverting the food waste from landfill. Our first KPI at Circa Biotech, our, our why, if you want, is zero food waste in landfills. We don't want to see food in landfills. Food is not a waste. Absolutely. I mean, it's really impressive what you're doing. And I want to sort of ask you the same question I asked Mohammed: Why here in the UAE? Do you also like a challenge or is it a good place for it? All of the above. All of the above. <laughs> <laughs> so first, the UAE is the fourth country per capita when it comes to food waste. So it's a country of 10 million population. We are throwing 3.5 million tons a year of food. It's the branches. Exactly. So this is, in our values, despicable. There's 
cost, environmental cost. I told you like it's, it's the equivalent of the transportation sector emission. And third, there's economical cost. Ministry of Climate Change and Environment has estimated that six to seven billion dirhams is the cost of food waste. So all of that with the help and the incentives that the government of the UAE is putting in place to support sustainable um, startups or sustainable SMEs, let us think about the UAE as the first place where we can go and grow from there. Yeah. Now you touched on earlier that obviously your goal is to have zero waste and zero food in landfills. How realistic is that goal? And are you going to put a date to it? Not yeah. a specific date, but you know, is there a year? <laughs> if, if an objective is not linked to a timeline, it's a wish. Okay, nice. So Tony we... Robbins. On the <laughs> <laughs> so we, um, we put 2030 as an objective to that. And no one is able to achieve that by itself. So it's, it's a global, it, it's collective, I would say. It's a collective effort. No technology, no company, no government body is able to do it by itself. So we are an ecosystem, for example, of startups working on solving the problem of food waste. So. When we are getting food waste, by the way, the, the bigger producer of food waste here in the UAE, this is specificity to, to the GCC region, is industry. It's not us throwing food or what we didn't eat, the leftover, mm, it's mm, industry. Mm. So when we are approaching a food retailer, for example, they are having a part of their food that is still eatable. So we don't take that. This, we put them in relation with other startups that they are or other government uh, initiatives that they are eating this, uh, giving this food to people to eat. And then if it's not proper for human consumption, we take it and we turn it into animal feed. You can talk about how we turn it into animal feed. And if it's not possible for us because it's too much rotten, for example, we have other companies that are doing composting that they can do it. So what we wanted to have is less than 1% of what we are going, going to the landfill today goes to the landfill. And most importantly, before all of that, is prevention and education. And what Mohammed is doing in his farm is, is beautiful when it comes to food waste and how from the source we are avoiding to have food waste. I could sit here and talk to you for hours and hours. Sadly, we've run out of time, which is so <laughs> frustrating because I know that you two are going to be talking a lot afterwards <laughs> as well. For sure. Yeah, definitely. But we want to thank you both for like sharing your thank insights you and everything. And um, it's actually time for DXB in 60s. So Mohammed, mm -hmm. you probably don't know about this, <laughs> but Faris is going to be putting you to the test. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Well, luckily, all the questions are about you. 60 seconds to try and get to know you as quickly as we can. Please, all right, so go. We're going to start Ready? the clock in three, two, one. If you could start a community garden, what would you grow first? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Uh, what's your go-to comfort food? Um, what do you mean? Uh, what's a food that makes you feel better if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling sad? Cooking, my f whatever is coming from the garden. I don't have any... Oh, no. Tomato soup, probably. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> if you had to live in a different country for a year, which one would you choose? North of Morocco. North of Morocco, beautiful. What's a book, movie or series that's imp impacted you deeply? I do have so many, but which one I could choose? I, 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 I usually forget the names, but <laughs> I have one, in, but I, I will try to find it. We'll discuss it later. <laughs> uh, if you could only eat one type of cuisine for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? Tomatoes. Mm, Moroccan. Italian. Italian? Mm. Italian, because Italian is a mix of so many uh, cultures. Mediterranean actually. culture. Exactly. Yeah, I love a pizza as well. If you could learn any language, which one would you choose? You already know so many. Arabic for sure, even if I started to learn, but I would like to be more fluent. We are out of time, but I have to ask our favorite question. Why Dubai? The first time I came here, I felt it was my, it's my home. Oh, wow. And that is absolutely the perfect answer. We've got to know you a little bit better. Mohammed, exactly. thank you so much for being thank our you, guest co-host today. Very much. Dr. Haytham, again, thank you as well. Don't go anywhere though. We have an incredible set from one of Dubai's favorites, the Box Tones. Here they are now.
So we're the Box Tones. I'm Louise. This is Jill. This is Gary. And this is Will. Our style is got rock influence. It's got soulful lyrics. It's got a little bit of everything, but definitely has that rocky edge. We're excited to perform for you. Catch us in a bit.